Hi, my name is Shelda Smith Kondo, and the manuscript I'm going to discuss was co-authored by Dr. Christian Alejandro Bracho of the University of Laverne, and I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Elementary and Special Education um, at Georgia Southern University. The title of the paper is Friendly Resistance, Narratives from a Pre-Service Teacher of Color Navigating Diversity Courses. Currently, 80% of classroom teachers are non-Latino white, and only 17.5% of current teachers are teachers of color. Meanwhile, nearly 50% of students in P12 schools are students of color. This is definitely a cultural, ethnic, and racial distance. Right now, as it currently exists, we know that when there are cultural mismatches and misunderstandings between teachers and students, students often are underperforming. This project allowed us to ask a couple of questions broadly that I think all faculty members need to consider, such as what responsibility do teacher education programs have in meeting the needs of pre-service teachers of color that we recruit? And then secondly, we can ask how can we better engage students who are friendly resistant? Right, students who we know are high performing but still are developmentally not where they need to be to meet the needs of diverse learners. When I think about the practical application of this paper for all faculty members across the university, um, I think some of the some of the main concerns that we have and we think faculty should think about is how faculty can engage culturally and linguistically diverse students. Firstly, we cannot assume that anyone most especially students of color, have inherent competencies that prepare them to meet the needs of other people of color, be that in the counseling or as a teacher or as an engineer or whatever it is, there are competencies that our programs and our institutions um, set up to allow students to have the developmental needs met. And we cannot assume that there are any students that are walking in there that already have those competencies. Secondly, it would behoove us to consider that as faculty members, we cannot racialize students. It is really important that faculty do not map identities onto students, but we allow them to self-identify and also give them the space to maybe not identify at all. Lastly, I think this is really important for uh, programs to consider. Right now, teacher education programs across the nation have just one course that addresses culturally and linguistically diverse learners. I think it's important that we consider maybe a holistic approach where all courses center culturally and linguistically diverse learners. Because the truth of the matter is culturally relevant pedagogy is not an additive sort of pedagogy. It is just good teaching. And good teaching means we're considering every single student in every single classroom.